So I found this in my uh, project bin and I had a funny idea. Um, I'm going to put it in this. This, <laughs> In case you're not recognizing this, this is a uh, funny playing Game Boy Color. Um, but what's, what's special about it is this thing actually has an FPGA inside of it instead of the actual Game Boy Color SOC. Uh, I, I've done videos on this sort of thing before. Um, it's actually really fascinating hardware, but Funny Playing didn't make it exactly feature compatible with the original Game Boy Color there. Uh, so there are a few little differences, um, but one of the most distinctive differences, at least for the purpose of this mod, is not, none of the buttons are accessible. So like on the Game Boy Color, Nintendo designed and manufactured the, the console to have a bunch of test pads on the motherboard. And so what the factory would do when uh, assembling these things, um, they'd take the board and put it on top of a bed of nails. Uh, so it's like a, a board that has a bunch of pogo pins sticking up and then they'd sandwich the PCB on it and all those pogo pins would make contact with the um, with the test pads on the motherboard. And then from there, they could interact with the board in various ways to test it. So maybe there's, uh, you know, they're, they're testing a PCB after manufacturing or they've already assembled it and, you know, they want to QC the hardware inside of the console. Um, you know, like test the CPU, stuff like that. This board doesn't have any of that. So we're gonna we're gonna do it a little bit different. We're gonna get creative. And of course I have the clear one, which is even harder to solder, but man oh man if it doesn't look cool on a black board. <laughs> and thankfully, since this is using a um, largely Game Boy Color shell, all of the important parts line up. Um, I'm gonna have to get a little bit creative with the button inputs, but yeah, see, there's nothing to solder there or under there. I think I can get away with leaving start disconnected. I'm fairly certain that's just a pass through, but yeah, 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 it'll be good. Totally forgot to warm up my soldering iron for this. <laughs> I mean, of course, it's going to get weird when I go to take it apart because there's, like, nothing holding this down aside from those two. Uh, maybe I should put a little double-sided tape on this. Yeah, just in case. I'll put it right on the back there. Normally, not necessary whatsoever, but... I guess I'll use the 300. Oh no. This is exactly what I was looking for. Oh god, we're going to be here all night. There, ha. Nailed it. There we go. And that'll hold it down and that'll be nice and transparent as soon as I rip the backing off. But first, I gotta tin these. Cause I don't know if Funny Playing used leaded solder on this. And I don't wanna find out after I melt through that ribbon, this thing. Now, a little 
a solder ball in my hand. Okay. And hopefully this thing works, because I don't have any spares, and if I go through all the trouble of getting it attached and it doesn't work, I'm going to be quite disappointed. But it's probably fine. Um, I just checked, and I don't, I don't know that they... Well, I checked before the video. Obviously not right now. Um, I don't think that Funny Playing makes this anymore in this material. And if you're looking at this going, man, I really missed out on getting one of those. You know, I want to get one. Uh, well, that's probably for the best. They're exceptionally difficult to solder because this material melts at like 280 degrees or something like that. No. no, 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 it's even lower. It's like 220 degrees. And so you have to be like in and out stupid quick. Otherwise you're gonna totally mm -hmm. destroy it. It's, it's silly, but. Anything in the name of cosmetics, right? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. And like that should still be five volts. It's running the same carts. Not to mention, I don't remember if I already mentioned this. Um, I started recording this video and then my phone wasn't recording and I don't remember if I just did it dumb and didn't actually start recording or if it stopped recording or whatever. Um, anyway, this console and the original Game Boy Color, I already measured, both of them use 3.3 volt button logic. So this, this should work. There shouldn't be any compatibility issues. Uh, the biggest thing, like I mentioned, there's no vias to solder the buttons in and I need to collect, connect B a and let's double check that select. Mm. That's what the multimeter's for instead of trying to follow it with your eyes. Yeah, select. So I can either solder down to these pads right here or just straight to these resistors. And I'm thinking the resistors are gonna be heaps easier. Uh, but first thing I need to do is I need to find the uh, buttons. I did already trace it, and I can see the A and B traces run up this way. And same thing over here on select. It's one of these vias right here. Um, so really, I've just got to do a little bit of scraping and then a little bit of guess and check. My brass hole's falling apart. So, just scraping right there. Oh, it's thick. It's thicker than I thought, which is good. Hopefully it's the one that I uncovered. Let's find out. I'm pretty sure this is ground. Hello? Is that not gr Oh, that's not grounded. That's, whoops. <laughs> Thanks, funny playing. Is it that one? Nah, of course not. <sighs> I'm worried the copper is super thin, so I don't want to accidentally wear through the traces and like Make it so my buttons don't work at all and I have to solder straight to the pin. Uh, 
Ah, it's that one. Ha ha. Okay. Okay, perfect. So, of this little group right here, it is the rightmost one. The ones that go up higher for something else. If you can't find it based off that description, then I don't know what to tell you. I just want to tin all the exposed copper. Though I think I need to expose more copper for my trees. Titanium tweezers. Because I just want to scrape my one trace and nothing else. Got it. Let me get a little bit more. No, no, that's how we ruin things. If I think I got it, then I got it. Yeah. It's going to be a pain in the butt to solder to. That's how small that is, but... Should work. Okay. I hate that I have to tin these, but there we go. And oh my gosh, I totally forgot to expose the A and B buttons. That's probably the same as this board, isn't it? Ah, there's a headphone trace that runs up along the side too. I'm going to have to fight over. Hmm. That's going to be a pain in the butt. I was wondering why there were three where I thought there were supposed to be two. Definitely exposed way too much though. <sighs> but that should be good enough. Okay. Ground, yep. So this side. Oh, 
Ugh. I heard it beep. I think there's just a lot of flux on there now. Can't check my work. If I'm afraid to scrape through the flux. All right, so A is probably that middle one. Yep. And then B should be the one right next to it. Yep. And the outside one, I just don't solder to. The problem is, my wire is kind of thick. I should be using magnet wire for this. Let's see if I have any. I mean, obviously I do. Okay. Where's the end of this? Is this the end? Okay, actually, yeah, that'll, that'll work. Hopefully. That is some incredibly thin gauge. Uh, I need to cut that. There's a little knot in the end. I meant to order like one of those little dispensers and then I didn't, but at least I ordered the, the wire for it. Oh yeah, this is way better than the stuff I used to use. And I should 100% use my microscope for this. Stuff's so thin that I keep squeezing too hard with my tweezers. Right about there. Well, I put the flush cutters away. All right, I'm fairly certain it does not matter which button is which, as long as both are connected. Because, um, I mean, either it goes up or down. Like, 
cares? So I'm gonna solder this in. Kind of wish I put more slack on this. One button down, two to go. Let's see what button it is. <laughs> oh, nice. I got it right. B is on B. Haha. <laughs> That is a pain in the butt. There's no way I don't rip this out doing the next one. Maybe I should just scrape more and do it upstream. You know, maybe we just let sleeping dogs lie and hope for the best on that one. <laughs> uh, it's so small that if I try touching it up, it's gonna be like doing it over from scratch. So I'm just gonna trust that I got it right the first time. Which is probably dangerous, but I think that's just the chance I'm gonna have to take. I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's try it. At least, like, the harder joints aren't the heat-sensitive ones, you know? Like, I can sit here and retry that as many times as I need to. It's this side that's difficult.
decent. All right. One more down. <sighs> Don't I have Captain Dave? Oh, good lord, I'm not using the sticker. better. Hopefully it's not dry. Oh, well, I guess that's not dry. Somehow. Eh, it looks dry. Never mind. Gabbage. I guess I'm using masking tape again because I forgot to do the thing I said I was going to do. Which was find the proper tape for this stupid nonsense. Uh, but I suppose one benefit is that at least you won't see my nonsense. When it's assembled? <laughs> Not really. Not unless you're uh, looking real hard. As for my idea, I'll clean that up just a little bit. And I should 100% use Captain Tape for this. But I can also just cover up the uh, pin that I don't want to solder to. Oh, it's so easy. I was using the wrong stuff for so long. I didn't realize how easy it could be. It just comes right off. It's beautiful. Oh yeah, that's on there nice and good. That's how we do it. And uh, that tape is just gonna stay there. Oh, I suppose I could clean up the flux.
Look at that. Factory. You can't even tell. Excellent. Love it. I don't remember buying it, but I'm glad I did. Because I don't know why I would have bought the stuff without the dispenser, too. That would have made my life a lot easier. But, oh well. to save the hardest for last. Why not? <gasps> oh, no! Shoot. Now the buttons are... shorted. <laughs> oh. Oh, no! Oh, I think I ended it without even desoldering the other one. Excellent. Okay, let's try that again, but, you know, without the shorting. Yes. Oh. Whoops, that one was way too long. Yeah, sure, let's just do that. Oh, I'm dumb. I could have just soldered select right there. Whoops. <laughs> that would have made life easier. All right, one more. And um, this one should be really easy because the pad's just right here. I think this should work. The only problem... Uh, should I solder to the big-ass cap instead? Uh, I suppose that's technically closer. Because the board's got to be flat right there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna solder to the big cap instead. If this works the way I think it should, it should give us a low battery warning, too, even though this is in the OSD. But, uh, I might have to disconnect it because it might be like an always on thing. And if it is, then this is not going to work. And I should just be able to use this because it shouldn't pull any current. It should just be measuring the voltage. Huh. 
That was way too difficult. That's nice and solidly on there. Now, how should I get it? Over here. I prefer it to be on the front of the board. And of course, all the routes I had planned out, I don't know why I figured they'd be clear, but they certainly aren't. Uh, I don't want to run it through like any screw holes, like the vias aren't big enough to run it through. I mean, I suppose I could just run it over the side of the board. That's probably the easiest thing to do. Just leave that there, put it right there, and then... What do you know? It's exactly where it needs to go. Really don't want that unraveling. Like I said, my concern is uh, what if the mod sees voltage on the battery and starts pulling power from that when there's no voltage on the uh, carp bus, you know? It's probably fine. All went well. Not only does this thing still work, but now it should have illuminated buttons. So obviously we gotta swap these bad boys out. Can't have opaque buttons. more either hopefully oh you know before I put this together let's, uh, let's do a quick idiot check here clouded ones because I think they're probably glow in the dark but also because I think it'll diffuse the light nicely and then there's a start select heads in my grubby little hand.
All right, all right, all right. So far, so good. And because we're screwing metal into plastic, I always snug them and then back them up quarter turn. All right, that's not so bad. Put that in there. Put that in there. <laughs> oh, that's that's weird. It's going like on and off. It's being kind of glitchy. I wonder if that's like power flickering on the cart bus or something. Hmm, that's weird. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, what, now it's just cycling like nothing happened? If it's flickering on camera, it's not flickering in, in person, uh, but it was cutting in and out earlier. Oh, now it's flickering again. Uh, wait, huh? I wonder if this is why Funny Playing didn't add this feature in the beginning, in the first place. Yeah, like it's clearly cycling through the modes, but it's like... Hmm. I wonder if I cooked it. Hmm. That's unfortunate. I was really hoping it would work. Let's see what it does when it's asleep. It should stay on, yeah. I must have cooked it, because there's no reason for it to be cutting in and out like that otherwise. That's so disappointing. I'm going to have to get another one. Or just rip it out another one of my Game Boys. Oh, well. It is what it is. Okay, but knowing it doesn't work. You hear that? I cooked something. Oh, that was weird. I don't know why the amp's kicking on. I wonder if my wire's shortening on. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Let's desolder this. Let's see if that helps. Because like I said, that's kind of always on.
come on. Not necessarily what the mod's looking for. Yeah, still flickering. Didn't expect that to change. Yeah, it's not doing the weird speaker thing anymore, though. Speaker is working. Yeah, I know what was happening. Okay, so when I turned it off, don't connect the battery wire unless... <sighs> There's, there's no way to get battery voltage that's not always on on this thing, unfortunately. Um, the problem is the battery runs straight into the charge controller, and then the charge controller runs into the regulator. Um, and then we switch the console on with the enable pin on the regulator, so it's not like I can even put it on the power switch. Like, I'd have to interface it directly with the charge controller. Hmm... I'll have to reverse engineer the charge controller and figure out where to solder that then. I think that could work. It's going to be one of the pins on one of these two six-pin chips here. But I'll have to figure out which one. I'm guessing this one. But who knows. Because um, then the battery voltage is back feeding into the um, button board which is then feeding into the cart slot, which is probably what bus the amp is connected to. Ah. Well, unfortunately it doesn't work, but I think that's because I cooked the board. So um, I guess I'll have to get another one. Um, next time, I'm not getting it clear though, even though it looks sick. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging with me, even though it wasn't successful. Um, I still learned something and if you're interested in this sort of thing, maybe maybe you did too. Um, I'll link to this stuff down in the description if you want. I have, of course, I have a video on the Funny Playing Game Boy Color if you want to check that out. Uh, but I also have a video on that uh, button LED mod, uh, but properly installed in what it's meant to be installed in. And um, I don't know. It's pretty cool. Works a little bit better there. Uh, I suppose I could have just grabbed it. I have it right here. But my cable doesn't have enough slack. There we go. You know, looks pretty cool. My screen, my filming lighting is not doing me any favors, but you see how it's not supposed to flicker. <laughs> but I don't know. I'll figure it out at some point, and um, it's not going to end up in this video, but I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll tweet about it or something. Peace. All right, you'll have to forgive the inferior lighting. Most of my desk lights are dead, but two updates. One, I'm an idiot. Two, um, I'm, I figured it out, though, anyway. Okay, so first is that select and start labels up here are backwards. Um, I forgot that Funny Playing did that, and I forgot that this one, this board was affected by that issue as well. Um, second issue is that what I have soldered to select is actually start. Uh, <laughs> because these are, or actually, no, I'm sorry, I have... I have select to select, that's correct. I have start to start, that's correct. They aren't shorting together and they're not shorting to ground. A and B are soldered, that's fine. The power is soldered, everything is fine. Um, 
but now that I have all the controls hooked up, I, I totally forgot that you needed start and select to change the color in single color mode. And you'll never guess what works totally fine, despite the breathing mode being kinda, kinda weird. So let me get this reassembled and let's take a look now that I have that second wire soldered on. <laughs> Uh, oh, good Lord, I can't even get this plugged in. Okay. Okay, now, we got this. We got this. It's going to be great. And I've got... I went ahead and desoldered the battery wire, of course. I think I cross-threaded that screw in my excitement. It's not like I didn't warn you guys that I'm an idiot, though. I refer you back to exactly two minutes and five seconds. Uh, okay. Eat this. And quite frankly, even if it doesn't work, I'm leaving it installed anyway because of who I am as a person. So might as well finish putting it back together, right? That lives in there. Got the pair switch. Uh, I appear to be missing screws. It's fine, I can work that out later, but it's still frustrating. I think that's one of them. Is that the other one? as well put the matching battery in. I'll leave the prototype battery with the prototype board. Since I did a little board schwapperoonie on these. Oh, why is it not changing color now? Oh, now it's doing brightness. Is it just start then? I mean, I verified it was working. See, that's doing brightness. Is that doing brightness too? No, now select's doing nothing. It's working. I just got on my bike. Hmm. That's off, that should be white mode. And then it should be in breathing mode. And now it goes back to monochrome. I don't, I don't know why the two, the first two modes don't work. And I don't know why this isn't letting me change it, change the colors. Unless I've just got the instructions totally wrong because brightness control is working. 
I mean, this thing could also be screwed up. You saw how the first two modes aren't working anyway. See, that just does brightness. Hmm. I don't know what the controls are. I'm gonna have to go research this later. But, I mean, it's obviously working. It's just not the color I want. Green's better than nothing, but I didn't want green. I kind of wanted red. Or, I don't know. I'm gonna see what worked. But, I, I, at least it's working, I guess. That's something. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Links in the description. At least I got it working, you know? It's not a total waste of time. Um, but, anyway. I'll catch you all next time.